When you're searching for truth, there's one thing that's guaranteed. You will find lies. Hey everyone and welcome to my Truth Review channel, Right Side Up. The channel where you and I can try to make heads or tails out of some of the truths, half-truths and outright lies that are circumnavigating the net each and every day and making their way at high speed into your feed, adding to the confusion and conjecture. Hey everyone, this is Kevo and welcome to another video for Right Side Up. But more than that, welcome to the first instalment of WSO, Wormwood Snake Oil, Medicine for the Masses, Charlatan Awards. This video series goes out as a tribute to the late but not so great Steve Olson, whose channel WSO got shut down due to him being one of the biggest charlatans in this community. If you would like to hear more about the demise of Steve Olson and WSO, then jump on over to Mari's channel, WTF Sky, and check out this video chat and while you're there have a look at some of Mari's other videos exposing some of the lies that are being spread. Links will be below. Now straight up I will say that I am not trying to debunk Planet X, I am merely trying to find truths and that means sometimes exposing lies. I believe that there is a possibility that something like the dreaded Planet X could be out there, however while some people are putting out truths others are peddling lies. In this video I will expose another one of those lies. Okay, we all know what a charlatan or a snake oil salesman is and if you don't then here's a couple of links that I will leave below so you can find out. The other day this video from Dill Martin came up in my feed and for some reason I chose to watch it. After watching and seeing the lies that this shyster is passing off to his audience I felt it was time to make this video and spread some truths. In this video, Dill Martin is trying to convince you that there are three strange lens flares and something else captured on this webcam footage from the suburb of McGill in Adelaide, South Australia. He claims this to be a solid object and that it casts a shadow in the sky, which I will get to in a minute. This image is claimed to be a planet following the sun. A slither of light appears for a brief second, the sun sets, then the object disappears. Right. I have all of the same frames available to me that Dill Martin had available to him, so let's have a look at what Dill Martin is showing you, and more importantly, what he is not showing you. There are a few points to deal with here, and I will start with when this so-called planet disappears. After viewing the sequence up close, he then switches to an inverted reversed image, which after showing that, he says that there is something up there to hide something from us, and this planet went behind it and out of sight. Well, the truth is that this is an image of the sun on another layer within the image being captured by the camera. Stay with me and I will show you that what I say is the truth and that Dill Martin is spreading lies. Firstly, the image is caused by adding another layer in front of the lens that the light has to travel through. For example, the camera used to capture this footage would have a weatherproof dome around it or be encased in a box with a clear panel. Any filters or protective shields that might be on or over the camera all add to and or alter the image seen. If you are familiar with my videos on layers, you will see what I am showing you straight away. For those who haven't seen my other videos and want to understand more about layers and lens flare, then check out my other videos on the subject. I will put these in the comments as well so you can go straight to them. Now I will show you that this is the sun on another layer. First, I assume that we all know that this is not the size of the sun. This is the glare. The sun would be about this big when it is crossing the horizon line in this image. I have added the landscape from an earlier shot so that you can see that the sun would appear to be this size behind the glare and would set behind this tree. And speaking of the horizon line, if this is an image of the sun on another layer, then there must be a horizon on that layer, right? So I'll put the horizon in. I've already lined this up to the correct position, so let's see what happens. Okay, this is the image when the sun first goes down behind the tree that is on the horizon landscape. I will fade the landscape in and out, and you can see that it matches. The next shot is further across and down behind the tree, and once again I will fade in and out with the landscape, and you can see that it is a perfect match. And in this shot it appears to have jumped and disappeared even more so, but this is the position of the sun in relation to the landscape in this frame. Remember, this is what's going on in your camera view on another layer. I put the landscape in for reference. The reality is that this is a ghost image of the sun 
on another layer within the image. So some of you can clearly see by this alone that this is the sun on another layer, but some of you need some more convincing. You don't believe that this could be from the sun going behind a tree? Well, here's a bit more to help you see. This is footage that I have taken myself, and in this you can clearly see the same effect with the leaves of this bush on the layers that appear here and here. The reason that the image in the footage that Dill Martin showed you does not jump around is because the camera is stationary. You can see that when the sun is positioned behind the bush, you see the leaves appear on the image of the sun in the other layers. Now let's look at the white streak and the so-called shadow. Dill Martin takes an image with the white streak in it. He filters the image by adjusting some levels which make the streak turn black and then he absurdly claims that this is a shadow. Let me show you what the white streak is. By looking at the sequence of shots and comparing the horizon line with the appearance of the white streak, I notice that there is some kind of glare in this general area. If we go to Google Earth and go to the suburb that this camera is located in, we find that looking across to the west-southwest, the direction of this camera is a body of water. A large body of water. The Gulf of St. Vincent. The white streak is simply an image of the glare from the sun on the water becoming visible on that layer. My experience with this channel called Dill Martin was that he would always post webcam footage with a bit of music and a dramatic title but no explanation of what you were watching and mostly you weren't watching much at all, usually just images of the sun reflecting in the clouds. I stopped watching his videos a while ago with my opinion being that he was just feeding off the hype and had nothing of value to offer. After not watching his videos for a while, to now see that this recent one shows blatant lies well, it has me stumped as to why this channel still gets views. Dill Martin has been posting videos on the subject of Planet X for some time now. Based on the amount of time that Dill Martin has been involved with the Planet X topic and the lack of investigative analysis in the videos that he currently presents, there are only two conclusions that could be made. The first is that over the time he has just been putting forth videos and not actually analysing them fully and just sucking you in to watch them with dramatic titles so he gets views, therefore he would be a charlatan. Or he knows exactly what the truth is in this video but chose to present lies so he would get views, therefore he would be a charlatan. So the decision is unanimous. The recipient for the first charlatan award is Dill Martin for posting blatant lies. So what do you think? Am I wrong, or is Dill Martin a snake oil tonic peddling charlatan? If you have any thoughts on this topic, I welcome your input in the comment section below. And if you have a candidate for a charlatan award that you would like to share, you can send it to rightsideupcontributions at gmail.com. And if you haven't already, then hit the subscribe button, click on the bell and set notifications, and check out my earlier videos to catch up on some truths. And remember to always do your own research, because no one is more truthful to you than you. Thank you for watching and I hope that you found this video helpful in your search for the truth. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family via your favorite social media and together let's get everyone right side up.